G'day again, good people. Well, after we'd done the Gibb River Road, we came back to Broome to do another house sit for the same people that we were house sitting for before, and you can see why they need a house sitter because that thing can't be left alone on its on its own. Um, completely irresponsible. Anyway, it was good. He was that's Jackson. He's a lovely dog. Anyway, we will try and answer the question of whether Broome. Inside, Jackson whether broom is actually overrated or not, because some people say it is. Have a look at the pictures and we'll have a chat about that uh, later on. Um, there are some really nice sceneries around Broome. This is Roebuck Bay, further south than of Broome. Um, it is really pretty. The water is crystal clear and turquoise green and uh, absolutely beautiful. And this is Grantham Point, so this is just outside the centre of Broome, really. Um, very nice spot. And this is called stairway to the moon or staircase to the moon. When you get the correct juxtaposition of the moon, the full moon and the low tide on the mudflats, you get this staircase type of effect. And it's quite famous all up and down the Pilbara and the Kimberley. Uh, you can find better pictures than this one. There's a handheld camera at night. It's not the best, but you can get the effect there. It looks pretty neat and it was a beautiful evening. And this is the very famous Cable Beach. That's well worth going to, especially at low tide. You've got a huge expanse of sand and water. And um, the camels, of course, there's three lots of camels do tours up and down the beach. And at sunset, and you can get a cold beer as well. So that's really pretty neat. And then the Sun Pictures are the oldest open air picture theatre in the world. They opened in 1903. And uh, we went along one night for a movie night, just to say we'd been, really. Um, you sit in these canvas deck chairs, uh, which you might remember from when you were a kid. And, um, yeah, it was very pleasant out there. You know, the weather in that time of the year is absolutely beautiful. So, uh, pretty easy to take. So the question was asked, is Broome overrated as a place to go and visit? Well, let's have a look at some of the positives first. Um, the weather during the school holidays in July is absolutely superb. It's low 30s, warm nights, gentle breezes. It is really, really nice and the sunsets are beautiful and you can go to the beach. And there are a lot of places around um, which don't cost you anything and you can go and visit. There's the Bird Observatory, although the road in's a bit rough. Um, Roebuck Bay, Ganth Grantham Point. Um, the town itself is quite nice. Um, you saw Horizontal Falls. That does cost you something, and um, that was something we did. Um, you can go up to James Price Point, and there's Dinosaur Footprints actually at Grantham Point, just out of town, and at James Price Point, you can go up there and that's that's pretty good. Um, at the moment, uh, Cape Levique has been closed, but uh, yeah, there's a lot to do, and if you like fishing, you've got your own boat, then you can do that. Uh, 
there are some good uh, shops um, if you're into art or photography uh, you want professional photographs of the area uh, there's some nice markets uh, at the old courthouse right in the middle of town on Saturday and Sunday um, so there's lots of good things to do in Broome that are not uh, don't cost you an awful lot so that's good um, some of the negatives are Chinatown is not Chinatown really it's just a shopping precinct there are a couple of Chinese type shops um, around um, some of the restaurants are a bit I think overrated or overpriced anyway for what you get uh, we, we didn't go to all of them I must say or anywhere near all of them but the couple we did we thought they were uh, overvalued um, and the other thing is that a lot of these tours and trips um, particularly if you've got a couple of kids in tow um, will cost you quite a bit of money so the horizontal falls you know 800 to a thousand dollars a head and I'm not too sure what it is for kids um, you know if you want to go out on the to um, Willie's Creek to have a look at the pearl farming etc you know it's 125 bucks a head so you could spend a lot of money doing trips um, but there are some good museums around which are cheap and very interesting and the history of Broome is really fascinating and you'll find a lot of that in some old um, buildings etc so is it overrated I think it probably is a bit but it does depend on what you're into and what sort of budget you've got etc and what you like to do I mean if you just wanted to laze on Cable Beach for a fortnight well, um, that would that would be pretty good um, Anyway, as I say, I think it probably is a little bit overrated, but we did enjoy Broome. The other thing was that it has a population of about 15,000 people. And normally during the busy period, it gets up to around 40 to 45,000. And this year, because people can't travel overseas and they didn't travel last year, etc., uh, I heard estimates of 60 to 70,000 people. So everywhere was crowded. Coffee shops were crowded. Shops were crowded. Um, you know there was that little bit of negative but I think that'll settle down in future years and uh, and be much more normal anyway that's broom for you catch you later bye